Let's see. Well, that was a fail. Ah! Ow. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are on my testbed world for the new snapshots that are coming out. This is a server that I've set up that has the snapshot available so that myself and some of my friends can play it. And uh, yeah, it's been kind of fun. We've had some, some hiccups here and there, but not bad. Now, I explained this in my last video where I was covering what I was doing with my studio. And I was on here and I said, does people want to see this? And I got some comments saying, yeah, we want to see what's going on. So I'm going to do, a, I guess, a kind of a mini series of this while we wait for 1.13 to come out, okay? So I thought with today, I might try to do some general server tour of where things are at, see where things, what's been going on and that sort of thing. But first, uh, let me get with you and tell you who is playing on this server. Many of these people, most of them don't have YouTube channels. They're just friends of mine, but I'm gonna show you a list here. So let me go and do that, okay? Now I'm reading this from a text file and I'm of course adding the images in post edit. So <laughs> give me a break. I'm gonna try as best I can here. We have Bar Talon. We have Candy Vet, we have Chevro 57, DSA Girl, King Whalen, Mr. Kent, Pause Player 10, Pipu, Remnificent, Thomas Grillo, and of course yours truly, Tinker 77. Okay, so we all have our bases, we're all doing little things, we're playing around with the new snapshot features. Uh, this is my base. I'm on a Mushroom Island. And Pause Player 10 has decided he was set up a base over here too uh, to get started. So let's get a little bit of a tour going on. Now this is my base. I started this first because I was the first one on because I, of course, have the server. So no one really knew it was up yet. And I've got the basic farms up here. You've got wheat, you've got potatoes, you've got carrots, and you've got beetroot. Okay? And these chests hold those various materials. I've got a place to do uh, tree farms right here, little trees, to manually cut them down. Now, I've got a birch there, and it still hasn't uh, grown, and I'm not sure why. It's been up there for days, so I don't know what's going on. I also made a quick little down-and-dirty redstone uh, sugarcane farm. And so all the sugarcane comes over here and out here, and there it is. Let's see? And then over here, I have some chickens, and I'm just in here collecting eggs in case I need them. And apparently some people have been in here gathering eggs, which is fine. That was probably Pause Player 10. And I'll show his stuff why in a second. Uh, I did create over here three little pens. This will be sheep, and this will be pigs. I don't have that yet. And of course we have lots of uh, the cows. That's great, huh? Now I did find some turtles, and I brought them over here. And I've been playing around with getting them to breed, but I haven't really done that much yet. But uh, I have them a little pen, so at least we won't get rid of them. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, I have another portal over here, and when I was working on another portal, it kept, when I kept coming back, making nether portals up in the sky, I finally got the linking correctly, so I've got, I guess, some free obsidian over here. I haven't done much with that yet, though. Okay. Now, real quick, I'll do pause player 10 since him. he's right here. He made a little house. He also made a chicken cooker. So as the chickens stood up there, lay their eggs, it puts them down here. And there we go. Cooked chicken. He hasn't been on as much, so he's... Uh, Still working on some things, so he's just getting really getting started. And, of course, he has a carrot farm back here. Okay? Over this way, I built an AFK fish farm, and this still works. So the old tutorial that I did uh, way back still works. And I've been out here, and I've done some of the, the fishing with it, mending, lure three, luck of the C3, and unbreaking three fishing rod. It works great. While I was here doing a session AFK, uh, DSA and uh, Thomas came over here and they uh, cleaned up my area a little bit. Thank you again, DSA, for doing that. So the items will cascade down and in here are chests where we've been sorting the items out. So you can see we've got various fish parts and uh, dead things, you know, that sort of stuff. And a uh, smelter here. So it's kind of nice. Thank you again, DSA, for doing that. Um, I haven't had as much time on the server, so people have been doing a lot of things. Um, I did catch a tropical fish. You can see it in there. That's one of the new things in the, in the snapshot. And it just sits there. Uh, another portal. Yeah, we've seen these. I do have a trash can here. So if I throw items in, 
they get destroyed in lava. I have my uh, enchanting station with the ender chest ready to go. And these are filled with books. Back here I have various wood items. These are all things made from wood and then the various types of wood that are like oak, birch, that sort of thing. The six wood types. This is just junk drawers, the regular stuff. A super smelter here, a double smelter. And you got your crafting table and anvil and then this is just, just ores and that sort of thing. It's pretty cool. And then down here, if you go all the way down here, this is where my mine is. This mine is, I'm using the branch mining system at level 11 like most people do. And uh, if you get through all this stuff down here, you can see I've got a lot of branches going on. Okay, so we're going to go into the nether next, and we're going to go to the next closest base. All right, we're at my base. And fortunately, some people have put in some uh, packed ice so that we can get around faster. So I'm going to put a boat down. I'm going to start this up, and we're going to have a little music while I get to the next base because it's pretty far away. Oh, I missed it. Here we go. Um, over here, it's not really a base, per se. Let's get out. Oh, that hurt. Um, this is not a base. It's, I uh, believe, they've been working on as a group, the Ocean Temple and draining it. So we're going to go on this way, continue the music. I don't know how far this is. And we'll get there in a second. We'll take a look at what they've done. So apparently there is another way to get here than that path. Very interesting. Okay, let's go on and see the Ocean Monument. Okay, I've come through the portal. You can see they set up a little like a little base here, a farm, where they get some wood and some other resources. And over there, it looks like where the, uh, the Ocean Monument is being um, drained, I believe. Let's go see. This should be kind of fun. Um, I see that they've got some wood and a little uh, hut out there. Probably There's probably beds in there so they can sleep during the night. We'll see what's going on here. I don't know. I have not been out here. I haven't seen what it is. I know that uh, DSA has been here. I know Thomas has been here. I know Ram Nificent has been here. So this looks like something that will be kind of fun to see. I don't know why there's chicken swimming, but that's kind of odd. Okay, and it's getting dark, so I will see if there's a bed in here and sleep for them. Okay. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, there's a ladder going down. Wow, it looks like very drained. We're going to take a look at it in just a second. Okay, here. It looks like, I think that's Thomas over there. It looks like they've drained it pretty well. Let's go see if Thomas is over here. I think that's Thomas. He's the only one on, so that would have to be Thomas. Okay, so he's still draining it in sections here. You can see he's putting down some sand. Yep, he's making walls. And then I'm assuming that they, uh, after they do this, they drain this up with sponges or fill it in or what have you. Um, but they've been doing a really good job at doing this. And this will be a great uh, place for us to farm, make a guardian farm and get some stuff like that. So good job, Thomas. I uh, I won't bother you. So <laughs> he's just going to town. Okay, let's go on back and see what else we can find. I've come out of the portal at Candy and Chevro's base. It looks like it's their branch mine down here. And I believe this is their stairs going up or is this just a ladder system here? Looks like it's a ladder going all the way up. Let's uh, cue the music again. All right, so we can see they've got an enchanting station. I can hear the chicken farm going on. Not sure where that is. Looks like it's in there. They got chickens. Yes, they do. Oh, looks like they have some cocoa. Good. Not sure what this is. Ah, this is the door to the outside. They got a farm going on and some massive uh, trees. Looks like they have some sort of... Not sure what this is. Oh, I see. Probably the water releases... And it dumps all the materials. That's a good idea. I like that. Then they just replant. Some redstone going on here. So they've got a bit of a base. They're working together on things. And it uh, looks pretty good, guys. Let's see what else. See if I can find anything else while I'm up here. So they have uh, that. This is uh, some sort of smelting system. A storage area. They got it all labeled out. Very nice. Okay. And it says... Zombie farm and an XP farm, AFK spot upstairs. So they've got a uh, spawner, probably, of some sort. Look at that. So we've got one here to crush them. So they've got a redstone. This is very cool. 
Very nice. Let's go kill some here. <laughs> Good job, guys. This is pretty cool. All right. Well, that's enough of this. Let's go see what we can uh, find at other people's bases. Very cool. Okay. We are here at Thomas's village. He's welcomed us in, as you can see. Although he's not here. He's doing his thing. Now, he actually took a village that was already existing, and he put a fence around it so that he could uh, keep it. He's got pretty much everything that he needs in this village. You can see he's got cactus. He's got the various farms, wheat, and everything like that. He's got all the animal types. He's been collecting everything. There's sugar cane. You can see this. So his idea is to get all the basic resources set up, and then he starts working on other things. Made a nice little uh, resting area with the apple bench, which I still have to do. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, looks like they has, like, has a, a farm up there for... Uh, mob spawning. So a lot of things are out here. Got some dogs and stuff. So yeah, he's got a lot of things in his base. And it's a very secure area. Um, Thomas is well known. And we kid him a lot, but he's, he's well known about having torches everywhere. Um, and so he's his place is pretty secure. If you find a monster that's not around, you got chickens on your roof, dude. Um, anyway, if you got uh, mobs that are inside of his base, it's very, very, very rare. He puts up a lot of signs for instructions, and it's, it's pretty cool. Look at all these mobs here. I don't have a mob farm yet. I'm thinking I might have to get one. Hmm. We'll see. So Thomas's base is looking pretty good. It looks like he's got villagers in there, pumpkins and melons and carrots. Just a lot of stuff all over. It's looking really, really, really good. Like he's got a lot of the infrastructure set up for what he needs to do. Okay, let's move on. Near the spawn portal, we have a kind of a basic, uh, I don't want to call it a junkyard, a basic area to share things with everybody so that you can share various resources, you have arrows or blaze powder, or maybe you need ice or whatever. It's kind of an area to play around with. Again, this server is very temporary, so we're all just sharing what we have and kind of having fun with it, okay? So we're going to go on down here. We're going to go to DSA's place and see how that's looking. So we're here at DSA's, and she did the same thing that uh, Thomas did, which was enclose or fence in, and Thomas is sleeping, fence in, uh oh, is that a monster up there, or is it a horse? Um, yeah, okay, back to what I was saying, fence in a, a, a village, ooh, that's kind of cool too, and uh, has made it her own, that's a very, very good idea, so uh, looks like we have a horse down there, go on, go up here, looks like a nice building of some sort, but yes, it's got a lot of... Uh, there's a big tree there, too. Look at that chasm. Wow, that's dangerous. Um, but yes, lots of stuff up here that you can see. More buildings over there. I wonder if I can get through. If I go up and through. I don't know. Let's go up. Let's go see. I mean, I've got the elytra. I can always get off of here. And here we go. Let's see. Well, that was a fail. Ah! Ow. Ow. Anyway, yes, it looks like she's building a nice house up here. And it's just taking her time with that. Uh, got some rooms and some other things going on. So uh, that looks pretty good. Keep up the good work. And there, oh, there's stairs down. So this area looks like it was built up to be kind of like a overlooking everything else. Okay. But you can see she's still up, uh, surrounded at all, which is pretty good. Now over here, there's some farms, farmlands. Okay. This is probably... The barn. Okay, that makes sense. Good. Very good. And a loft up there. Let's go up in the loft. See, this is nice seeing what other people do because Minecraft is so cool with what you can do. You can do lots of things. So, okay. Not much up here in the loft <laughs> at the moment. Let's go out here a little bit. I probably should eat. And I probably should close the door. If Thomas were online, and seeing that, he would say, eat, eat. So this, to me, looks like it's some sort of multiple farms. Okay, there's some cocoa. Got a bunch of storage down here. And also, you can see she's making use of the fact that in this new snapshot, you could put chests right beside each other, which you used to not be able to do. Okay, so if we go up, swimming. Oops. I don't have a hoe to fix that. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, not again. Ooh, man. Okay, we're going to go on up. So basically, you got all the farms in one big water stream, which is really cool. And I think it just can go on up and up. 
So this is a very neat idea to how to save space on your farms. Of course, then you gotta swim down, which takes forever. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. A very neat view. Okay, we're gonna head on to the next uh, person's uh, base and see how it looks. Here we are outside of Kent's portal, Mr. Kent. And uh, it's, uh, he's going for a little bit, it uh, looks like a style of just go where the caves go. Because there's lots of like <laughs> caves here. You know, very lit up. He's got walkways, you can see, you know, where he's just going where it goes and kind of going kind of organically, it looks like. At least that's what it looks like, okay? But I've been here a few times, and I know if you go all the way up here, you get to see his, where he has his outside part of his base. And he's done some interesting things, not so much with his area here, but with a farm that he's been working on. You can see he's just got a lot of the resources out here just planted, and that's cool. But if you go off in that direction, which I will do now, we're going to have some more music here. You'll see what I mean. He's built a nice farm. All right, we're here close to his farm. See, he's got an AFK point up there. This is a design that I think is partially based on a design by Il Mango. It also looks like he's got a lot of boats out here. That's good. Um, but basically, this is a, a just a farm that, uh, yeah, I guess the mobs spawn and they drop onto this platform right here, which flows them into the center and they go down. And I think he set it up so that, let's go down here and see, so that you didn't go up here and kill them. Let's go see, get up here. Oh, they're going down, see that? So there is a hole right there. I think it's then it's gonna be down there, is it right? Okay, looks like here. I'll clean it up for him. And then I'm assuming that this system then he just puts the items he wants to get rid of in here. Like that. And this then goes into a sorting system that he has, so I don't need that. I don't need that. And there you got it. So this is a pretty nice setup he's got. And uh, he's been working really hard on it. So uh, good job, Kent. Uh, I think you should change out the netherrack, though. <laughs> but you use what you had. I know that. So very nice. Everybody has mob farms with me. This is not good. Coming down this hallway in the nether, it just turns into stone and stone brick. This way is King's Wayland's base. He's got a lot of blue carpet. That looks very cool. looks very regal. But he, and he has an area here that says... King's Wayland shared goods. Leave presents or take anything you need. With redstone and eggs and some carpet, some wool. That's pretty good. And then down here is Ramnificent Space and a Skeleton XP Farm. Let's go down to Ramnificent Space first, okay? Let's go down to Ram's. Here we are at Ram's base. He has some animals, has a little smelter, a farm area. Looks pretty cool. Looks like he's probably collecting probably chickens or something over there. Or was the idea of chickens? And it looks like this is a, uh, I don't know if this is, this doesn't look like a village. So this probably is a base that he's made. That makes it look pretty cool. He's got like a tunnel here for his mine. Yep, this goes down to a mine for him. He's got, uh, like, it looks like a, like a fishing area. Is that what this is? Some storage there. It's kind of interesting. Probably he fights uh, Enderman with this. And he's got a little aquarium. That's very cool. That's really cool, Ram. I like that. That's very nice. Like an enchanting room. Some supplies for that. Books and enchanting things. Excellent. Little enchanting area. I'll close the door for you. What's the sign say? The old humble fishing shack. So I guess this is a place where he fishes. Okay. Look at all that water and stuff. And uh, home sweet home away from home. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll close the door for you there too. So uh, yeah, Ram's got a nice little base and he's put out a nice little dock system it looks like and you know some sea like, um, uh, sea, sea town like look to it. Um, I like that, that looks pretty good. Now uh, he's also worked on a skeleton farm and that's something else that he's done. We're not going to go look at that, but that's another thing that he has been working on. So that's uh, a project he has. Look, he's got turtles out here all over. 
It looks like Kent just joined the game. And he's got a lot of turtles. Okay, and then this is where he cuts all his wood from. It's this big tree farm. So he's got a lot of resource stuff that he's working on. Okay, we're going to go see the last person, which is King Whalen. King Whalen's nether portal is down in his mine. And I've just come up, and we're going to close the door so that gets out there. What's this? This is probably a, an AFK fish farm. It, I think it is. With his diamond bed. Well, it's not really diamond, but it's blue bed. And he's got his AFK fish farm. That's really cool. Very nice, King Whalen. And he's got his uh, some farmage there, and some farms here, and some farms here. Look, he's got lots of sheep. Of course, he would have blue and black sheep because we saw all that there. And that's really cool. Now, King Whalen, he's really good at houses and buildings. And look at this house that he made. You know, th that's just amazing. He does amazing work with it. And he's over by a mesa, which is even cooler because uh, if you don't know, mesas have a lot of gold. Let's go look back up here and see his house. It has a like a porch up top of it. This looks amazing. You know what? It looks so good. I'm going to, uh, what is that? We're going to get going here on it up in the air. If I can do it. I'm going to take a look at it from the sky here. This uh, looks pretty cool though, this mesa. Okay, we're going to circle around. Look at that house. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Let's see if I can land on top here. Ah, uh, there we go. We've landed up on his, uh, looks like a little balcony. It's very cool. I'm going to go through your house. Hope you don't mind, King Whalen. Looks like this floor isn't really decorated. It's probably the attic. You know, don't have anything in the attic, right? It's got some supplies, and it's got a furnace going here. It's probably cooking up some fish. There you go. Yes, we all should have some fish. It looks really nice. And you have another room out here. And this can go down. I'm just amazed that he's done this much work on a house. This is pretty good. Is this front door? Yes, front door. And this is probably his enchanting room. Very nice. Some enchanted supplies. Oh, look, he's got like a little back porch. I didn't even see this. It's very nice. And he's making use of the new, uh, new textures and things. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Good job, King Whalen. I really like it. You have uh, definitely better skill at decorating than I do. Okay? Well, let's head back to our base. And we're back home at my base, which uh, looks kind of trashy now that I've seen everybody else's. I have some neat things. Oh, yeah, over here, for some reason, the strongholds aren't in uh, in the snapshot. At least, like, we couldn't find any. I even looked in, you know, with as an operator, couldn't find it. So we built a portal way out here which is our portal to get to the end. Just made it right up on the surface. So yeah, you know, it's a snapshot. We don't really, you know, care. It's not that bad. So um, one thing you probably will have noticed, there were two people that I did not show any bases for, and that was Bartalon and Pipo. Pipo is playing, but he doesn't have a lot of time to play. So uh, yeah, he's not on very much. He's been on my island, and he, he put down a tree way over here, and that's all he did. You can see this top of the green see it he put a tree and that's it and he, he well, didn't have a lot of time and hasn't been on since Bartalon um has been notified he hasn't been able to play because of his work schedule although he really wants to and we're hoping that he will be on so yeah so this is it let me go fly around a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the base before i sign off here because uh, we're about done um i hope you do like this video if you like this video please click that like button if you have any comments, please put them in the comments section. I'm looking for some suggestions you want to see in this little snapshot. And of course, if you would uh, please subscribe to this channel, you'd get notified of all the videos I produce. I'm doing a subscriber push, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so that I can get within YouTube's good graces. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can you Google the YouTube 1,000 subscribers and you'll see. So again, I am Tinker77. I want to say thank you again for joining me. And you have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.